As you can see by my credentials, I have taken care of children for 33 years. <laughs> well, that's quite a relief. You must enjoy your job. Tremendously. He smells like soap. That can't be a good thing. Shh. I want to hear what she says about bedtime. How do you feel about schedules, Mrs. Berkshire? Oh, I believe in keeping to a very strict schedule. First, a very small dinner, so as not to upset young tummies, followed by a long bath. I knew it! And naturally, I stick to the one book per night rule. Only one book? Who said that? Oh, I didn't see that cat. That's just Edwin. He never moves. I'm Olivia. Only one book? Sometimes I have 11 or 12 books at bedtime. Olivia? Perry! Oh! Give me back my airplane! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, uh, Perry likes to chew the children's toys. Really, there's no need to explain. 12 books at bedtime. Cats, little boys wrestling with dogs. Uh, I'm afraid to inform you that I'm no longer interested in the job. Well, tell me about yourself, Lily. Do you have experience babysitting children? Oh, sure, lots. I love kids. As a matter of fact, I have 15 cousins. <laughs> well, actually, some of them aren't real cousins, but, you know, they're friends of the family. Let's see, um, well, I'm 15. I go to River Valley High. Raw, raw, River Valley, River Valley High! <laughs> you know the chair? Uh, do, do you think you can handle two children and a baby? Well, I once took care of three kids and their pet lizard, which was really gross. The lizard, not the kids. <laughs> Do you think kids should be allowed to jump on the furniture? Who are you? This is my daughter, Olivia. Olivia, please apologize to Lily for scaring her. Sorry, Lily. I like your outfit. Oh, you do? Thanks. I like yours, too. She's perfect. You should hire her. Don't you have any more questions? I do. Ah! Do you like dogs? <laughs> oh, no. Let me guess. You're no longer interested in the job? Uh, well, it's just that, uh... <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. I had no luck finding a babysitter, so I canceled our reservation for dinner tonight. Well, then, we'll just celebrate our anniversary at home this year, honey. Celebrate at home. Ian, we have to make our restaurant just like the fancy restaurant where Mom and Dad were supposed to go for their anniversary. And I can make them my special peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. We just need a centerpiece. What's that? What fancy places have on the table for decoration, like shells or flowers or... How about a flying saucer? Ian, that's not a good centerpiece. Why not? It makes ten different sounds. Of course! It'll be like they're having dinner on a whole new planet! <laughs> hmm. Table for two? I think you'll enjoy the view. On Planet Olivia! What a beautiful restaurant! Ooh, I can see the entire solar system. If you look past that little pink planet and count three stars over, you'll see our planet, Earth. You're right, there it is. Planet Olivia Cheese Toast, it was voted best in the universe. And such an appealing color. All the food is red on Planet Olivia. And now for your entertainment. This is the best anniversary ever. And that's not all. I saved the best for last. <gasps> Grandma! Mother, what are you doing here? <laughs> you didn't think I was going to let you stay home on your anniversary, did you? But I thought you were away climbing Mount Everest. Oh, Mount Everest can wait. It's not going anywhere. Now you two better scoot if you're going to make your reservation. But I canceled... We're back on for, oh, 20 minutes from now. Then double scoot. Happy anniversary. Bye. Bye-bye, kids. Listen to Grandma. 
Now that my flying saucer doesn't have to be a centerpiece, I can play with it. Centerpiece? What's that all about? I wanted to do something special for Mom and Dad's anniversary, so I made them a restaurant outside. Ah, and now that I'm here to babysit you, you don't get to show them your surprise. Oh, Grandma, I didn't mean it like that. You're the best babysitter ever. Well, maybe there's some other surprise you can do for your mom and dad when they get home. Or we could go to the restaurant and surprise them there. I like the way you think. Here's the restaurant. It's not like I imagined. Me neither, but I'm sure it has its charms. Grandma, do you think... We could ask everyone to visit. <laughs> I'll ask the owner. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> what in the world? Happy, Happy anniversary! anniversary! Dad. We've been coming to this place every year since we met. I hope you don't mind us crashing your party. Mind? Not at all. In fact, I think from now on we'll all be coming back here on our anniversary, huh? Sit down, everyone. Come on. Olivia, won't you get in trouble for wallpapering your room? Oh, no. My mom said she wanted to make the house nice for my grandma's visit. And since my grandma loves flowers, I thought, why not put them on the wall? Hmm. How does it look? It's perfect! Grandma's going to love it! Olivia? What happened in here? I'm filling my room with flowers for Grandma. I have some wallpaper left over. Want me to do your bedroom? Maybe some other time. We've got to get your room cleaned up first. Why don't you start moving some of your things into Ian's room? Why? I'm staying here in my room with Grandma. Honey, Grandma's our guest and we want to make her feel comfortable. She'll sleep in here by herself, and you'll get to stay in Ian's room. Won't that be fun? Ian's room? <sighs> Ugh, something smells in here. Hmm. Stop! I don't want my room to smell like a girl. Well, I don't want to sleep in a room that smells like socks. Hmm, let's see. My steamer trunk can go in that corner, and I guess I can set up my easel and paints right here. You bringing all that stuff in here? Of course, but there won't be any room for my stuff. Ian, Mom said you're supposed to make guests feel comfortable, and I would be very comfortable if you made room for my things. Yes, Ian. Olivia's bringing all her stuff into my room and spraying stinky perfume and telling me I have to put away all my toys. Where do you want your ribbon collection, Olivia? Over there, please. Thanks, Julian. Olivia, Ian is very nicely sharing his room with you. And that doesn't mean you can turn it into your room. But, Mom... It's only for a couple of days. That's practically forever. Mom! Ian has fleas! Look! There's no way I can stay in a room with fleas. I don't see any fleas, Olivia. They're very small. Look harder. What happened to the blackberry jam that was in this jar? It was empty when I found it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Excuse me! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Get out of here! Whoa, whoa. I 
cannot stay locked up in this castle with my brother for another minute. What are you doing? I'm looking for a secret passage. Castles have lots of them. I've never seen one. That's because they're secret. <gasps> I found it! See you later. Let me come. Why? I thought you liked it here. I do, but if you're going to leave, then I want to leave too. Rule of life number 49. Little brothers always want the same things you want. Whoa, check out the spiders. Ew. I think I'll find another way out. Olivia, Ian, Grandma's here. <gasps> Grandma? Hello, kids. I just can't get enough of my little Ian. I'm not little anymore, Grandma. Well, does that mean you're too big for kisses? Guess so. Oh, what am I saying? No one is ever too big for kisses. <laughs> Grandma, yuck. Now, where is my Olivia? Here I am, Grandma. <gasps> I like your outfit. Now that's style, darling. <laughs> okay, kids. Time for me to teach you my latest dance moves. I can't wait. Okay, now listen to the beat and move those little feet. Making it your own. That's it, Olivia. You are a natural. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Olivia. I love the new wallpaper. Thank you. Did you need something? I forgot my, uh, ear ribbons. Well, what about the ribbons you're wearing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good night. I just remembered. I forgot my favorite slippers. You know, I might be a little lonely all by myself. Do you think you could bunk in here with me? Really? You wouldn't mind? I'd be delighted. Yes! And I know just the thing to make this sleepover extra special. Why don't you get cozy in bed? I'll be right back. One Sunday, two spoons. You're the best grandma in the whole entire world. I always said you had good taste. Do you always have ice cream before you go to sleep? Oh, no. Only on special occasions. Usually, I end my day by thinking back to my favorite parts of the day. That way, I only have happy thoughts before I go to sleep. Give it a try. What was your favorite part of today? Well, I liked the pancakes I made for breakfast. And I liked it when William threw his cereal. But I think my favorite part is this. This ice cream sundae? No. Being with you. 